Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi and welcome to the menu series. In this series, I'll show you how to resume your game, save, load, the settings, credits, and you'll be able to quit your game as well, either to main menu or the desktop. So let's begin. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using the third person character. If you have a world and a player, just use that. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new folder for our menus. So this will be called menus. And inside of here, we're going to create our first widget, which will be the pause widget. So user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and WB. Pause. That's fine. Go inside. And here we're going to do a canvas panel. And then we're going to do a vertical box. So instead of this box, we're going to put uh, our menus. So it's a structured layout. and you see this, uh, anchor it in the middle of your screen, otherwise it's going to fluctuate depending on the screen size. I want this box to be 400 and 570, I believe, for the structure you've seen on the overview. And I'm going to place it at, that's fine, position X and position Y is going to be 340 or minus 340 like so that's fine and inside of here we're going to add our buttons so let's go and find a button this will go into side here and then inside of this button we're going to add a text which is here and boom so um, the text if you select the text we can change the actual size of the font to 40 so it's a bit bigger and then on the actual button, go to padding and select the button padding and set it to 30. So this will just give us space when we're copy pasting the buttons inside. For the text block, I'm going to say resume. And for reference, I'll just say resume text like so. And then uh, I can take this button call it resume button and that's fine so select both of them button and the text control c for copy and if you go to vertical box we can control v and paste and again and again and again and again so now just quickly name these guys so this will be our save game this will be our load game uh, this will be our settings then we have our credits and then for a zoom game i'm just gonna call it quit and just make sure you rename the names of the guys otherwise you'll just get a little bit confused so this should be save game, save button actually, easier. Then this will be the load button. This will be the settings button. This will be the credits button or that's the text, select button. And then this is the quit button. So once you have a structured layout and you're happy with how it looks, we're going to add some functionality to our menu. So if you go to the graph and you actually, before we go to the graph, let's create the quit options to the desk menu and the main menu. So add a horizontal, horizontal box and just drag it on top of the canvas panel and it should be here so drag it on and for this as well just if you want to keep it uh, in the center select something that is good for you and that's fine and for the actual position of y i just i will set it to minus 300 so it's right under the quit button for the size of this i'm going to say 400 
and this is not looking nice 50 for the y and let's bring it back so it's right under the the other uh, vertical box and here we will add two buttons so just copy paste whatever buttons you had Control c and select this Control v and Control v again it doesn't matter uh, it's a bit messed up we're gonna fix that so in, uh, click on the button and select uh, that's fine actually say fill on the button and say fill on the second button then for the text it's a little big so i'm going to set this to 24 and i'm also going to say 24 on the other text and the reason it's looking a bit weird is because we have a padding on the bottom so just uh, reset this to default and same with the other one and then on the left one just say a padding on the right to 10 so this will give us a gap in the middle and they're both uh, the same on quit we will say we want this to be called main menu and on the quit on the right we want this to be called desktop so that's looking good and before we leave to the this, uh, graph select the horizontal box again and in the visibility options say hidden because we don't want to see it when we open our menu we only want to see it once we've hit the quit uh, button so compile and save and also make it a variable so we're gonna add some functionality to this compile a save and then go to the graph inside of the graph we can delete those guys so we don't need them and let's select our resume button so we're gonna add functionality to this let's select our quit button we're gonna add functionality to this and just to make sure is this the right button it is that's why you want to name them so you know what's happening um then we want the horizontal box so this is our box we want to just drag it for the moment we want to get our, our other menus which will be the main menu so uh name them otherwise you'll be a little bit confused like me over here so main menu button and the desktop button is going to be called desktop button Compile and save again, go to the graph and inside of here, let's get the main menu and let's get the desktop. So once you have all this, uh, let's add some functionality. So resume button, we're going to remove from parent. So once we hit resume, it's going to remove the menu. And then we're going to set game paused to be unpaused. And we're going to get player controller now we're going to do set show so set show mouse cursor to be false and we're going to get the set input game mode to be game only because we've quit the main menu so we don't want to uh, navigate the main menu anymore just the player so that's over here and to comment select everything press c and this is our resume then for the other functionalities uh, for the quit button we want to set visibility and the set visibility will work on the horizontal box we have here so uh, actually before we do that let's get a toggle so right click look for flip flop and this will allow us to toggle between the uh, quit box between it's visible or it's not visible so get the visibility again connect it like so the target is the horizontal box and the visibility is going to be hidden so we can toggle it to visible and we can toggle it to be off then select everything comment and this is our quit box or horizontal box whatever you want to call it and once this is done we can do the functionality for the two buttons so main menu button is just going to do a open level 
and we can do open level by object reference. At the moment, we only have the third person map. So select this. In a second video, I'm going to show you how to create a main, main menu. So comment and say main menu like so and in the desktop uh, same thing applies just uh, quit game and this will take you out of the game so comment this quit uh, or better desktop we don't want the hashtag and that's looking good so you can compile and save we can close this now go to your character so characters uh, actually no third person blueprints bp third person character and inside of our character we want to set up a input action so we can toggle or trigger the pause menu so go into your content browser and find inputs and instead of the actions create a new input so this will be input input action ia pause so if we go to pause, uh, tick this, trigger when paused, this will allow you to use this functionality even when the game is paused, so we want that. Save, exit, and then go into your uh, IMC. So what's this called again? Uh, input mapping context. And inside of here, show the mappings you have, create a new mapping, and this will be, what? This will be the pause input action and select the keys so you can do escape and you can also do uh, p just remember mem remember that if you're in the editor it won't allow you to actually press escape because every time you press escape it will exit the, the play mode so that's why it's good to have escape and p for testing purposes you can exit this and then once that is done let's go and use it so input action pause and inside of here do it on started not triggered otherwise uh, it'll trigger every frame so it'll turn off turn off uh, if you hold the button for too long so on started let's do is valid so we're going to be checking if the pause menu is valid or not so let's create widget and widget is our pause menu once we have selected the pause menu, we can do promote variable, and this is our pause reference. So this is how it's going to work. If the pause menu, drag it, get it. If the pause menu is not valid, we're going to create our widget. But if it is valid, we're simply just going to go to the next stage, which is the condition. And the condition is uh, right click is game paused so if the game is paused and if this is true we're going to do some other stuff there but then back to the is not valid we're going to connect this into the condition as well so if it is valid uh, we're just going to remove it and depends on the state pause or unpause the game but if it is not valid we're going to create it first so let's start with valid if it's valid we're going to remove everything from the screen remove from parent we need to get this remove from parent untrue then we want to set game paused to be false because we're removing it from the screen it's no longer paused and then here we just want to get layer controller and from here we want to set show again set show mouse cursor to be false because we're not in the menu and we want to set game or set input um, game only because we are no longer in the main menu or in the pause menu like so and if you want to make it pretty double click on that and that's fine and then if the condition is false so if the if the main menu doesn't exist, we want to do the reverse. So we're going to select our pause reference again, and we're going to add to viewport on false and add to viewport. And then we want to set game paused. So we're just reversing 
what we did there. So true, and the same thing applies. So just get your player controller. So I'm just gonna copy this and set show mouse cursor to be true this time because we want to see it. And we also will do set input to be game and UI. And we're going to hook it up like so. Do this, make it pretty. And for our pause reference, just drag it over to in widget to focus and make it pretty so we don't get confused and everything looks nice. Like so, we can compile and save. And at this stage, if you want, you can comment this to pause game and compile and save again. And if we exit, hit play, if we press P, we should get the pause menu. We should be able to resume or use it with the key. And we should also have the quit button working. So desktop is just going to quit the whole game if you're playing it standalone mode. And if we hit play again, just to test it, quit main menu. We don't have a main menu, so it's not going to work. But other than that, the menu works. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the settings, credits, and set up the main menu. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.